Hello, John here again, and <laughs> straight away, it's not part one, it's part two. Um, here we are in the part two of the video development video series where we're going to write our own uh, machine code monitor as I demonstrated in part one we're going to try and ow, um, write our own machine code monitor for the VIC and the 64 but primarily for the 64 and so this is uh, step one of doing that thing so what we're going to what I'm going to show you now is that I've created the project and I've added some of my standard libraries in there so as you can see I've added my ASCII code constants I've also added my vector routines and ROM routines that I used in the Kaidos development so they're just two standard files that I've just copied across and and what I've done is I've created another library of routines purely for the machine code monitor so I've got something to print a space out some uh, a routine to print out a two byte hexadecimal number a routine to print out a one byte hexadecimal number um, a routine to input or to receive a two byte hexadecimal number a routine to import or receive a one byte hexadecimal number an error routine a ready prompt a, a routine to accept the commands from the user a tokenizer to take that command and convert it into and, and work out which command it actually is and that is all the routines in this particular library um, what I will do is um, in future videos we'll talk through some of these routines but in this video I'm just showing you what's been set up so then I've got the the main program so this is where we are going to write all the change change history into it and this is where we're going to put all the include files and everything so at the moment I've, I'm putting it at 9000 for the 64 B1000 for the VIC-20 first line is always to start the monitor um, I've got some import um, libraries in here so this is the opcode array and that's for when we do the assembly and disassembly I've got the operation codes as an array I've just uh, shown you those two created some variables and what they mean so this is the um, IRQ um, vector point this is the MNI vector point and this is the break point vector point and then we've got a um, zero page reference and a fully qualified reference to um, point hex one four in the zero page so the start monitor is we're loading the title and then print it out we load the break vectors and then we set oops, undo, and then we set the break jump vector to where we want it to go and then we perform the break the break vector here is basically when a break is when a break command is received by the 6502 it sticks everything onto the stack in a specific order and this is the order so we so we're pulling it backwards yeah so it's the first thing it pulls off the stack is the y register so we store it the second thing it pulls off is the x register so we store that third thing is the accumulator the fourth thing 
is the um, stack pointer. Nearly forgot them. But that is not the stack pointer, that's the status register. No, that's the status register, yeah. Why have I put the stack pointer? I think I'll be variables wrong way around, because that's nah. It's that stack pointer. Got me variables the wrong way around. Good job, I saw that. There we go. So gets the stack pointer. Still not right. Because this yeah, put it back. What am I doing? Yeah, so that is a status register. It's gotta be. It's better. Because we've got to get the stack pointer right at the very end. Then we get the. Uh, the program counter low, program counter high, and then we transfer the stack pointer to the X register and then we store the stack pointer. We also load the current IRQ vector point and then store that, the current MNI vector point and then store that, and then what we, because a break point go, it goes to two uh, program counters too far so we have to bring it back two program counters and then I call the register command so here's the title and that's for the 64 and then we've got the VIC title and of course it'd be smaller because it's only got 22 columns and I've allocated the storage to values to memory locations that are ne never used and I load the import uh, the up the machine code monitor uh, routines and then the uh, the register command and the register command is just basically just prints out the whole thing so we've got some text so register text we've got some text down here but we've got two different versions. We've got the 64 version and the VIC version. And the 64 version has the IRQ vectors in there. There's the uh, the VIC version doesn't. And also the 64 has a uh, display of the statuses as the VIC one doesn't. And what do we do? We run through all those. So we we print that string out, and then we load the uh, program counter in and print a 2 byte hexadecimal value and print a space and if it's a 64 then we print the IRQ1 at a 2 byte value out print the NMI 2 byte value out and then carry on with the status register uh, print that as a 1 byte hex value accumulator and so on and so on and then if it's the 64 we go to the routine that displays the status register which is down here and what this does it just runs through the bit value of the status register and displays it as a 1 or a 0 and at column 2 it actually displays a hyphen so this is the start of the, the project and and what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to add the commands one by one like I did with the Kaidos system, and see if it and see and see if it uh, works. And after that, so we should be able to try this out. So if I tell it to build and run, so got the uh, the source. So how big is it already? Seems we've only just put a few things in. Look at that nine five one four already. But most of that is taken up by the um, here. This is the uh, opcode array here. 
Alright, so click that. Vice flies up, so we should be able to do SYS 4096 times 9. So that's where we started it on the Commodore 64. There you go, so it's printed out, so it's displayed the title Old School Cola Machine Code Monitor for the Commodore 64 by me. Copyright April this year, Old School Cola. And so this is the register command. And as you can see, it's printed out the uh, the um, the the program counter when when it um, encountered the break. So we can we can check that just by building it again, just having it. So it so it should have hit the break point. Right, so we're not far away from it now. Here we go. Start monitor. Breakpoint 930A. Excellent. So where's Vice gone? Has it shut down? Yeah, it must have done. Let's run that again. I think Vice is shut down. There we go. Start nine. So nine three oh eight is when the breakpoint was encountered. We've got an IRQ of EA three one, which is normal, and NMI of FE four seven, which is normal. Then the status register is B one. Now B one is represented here in the status register. So we've got a the carry's been set. Um, the um, that's zero value, the negative value has been set and binary oh. B, what's B? it's not the overflow is it? no oh. what's B? I'm an idiot B, break flag duh god it's too late oh it's late in the day so and uh, so we have accumulator of OB, X register is 0, Y register is 93, and the stack pointer is F6, which it should be from a starting... Yeah, so it should be from the starting point. So, we can... Um, I suppose we can see what... If it's in here. Can we do R here? There we go. But they'll have different values because of the fact that this is still running behind the scenes. Yeah, because this is still running. So this is running my code now. So I'm I'm in control of it. So if I put A, it's not going to like it. And that's what all that means. So X. There we go. So um, that is the start of this uh, development cycle, and what we're going to do is we're going to, like I say, put all the I'm going to code all the commands up one by one, uh, and then do a video of what I've put in, and I'll put all this stuff on GitHub, and um, you can follow with me. And if anybody wants to make any suggestions, please do so. Right, with that. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.